guys, I'll be honest, I'm uh, getting pretty sick of this snow. But inside this box, we got a pair of warm hands. Metaphorically speaking, of course. So I made that video with the OBR mitts uh, that fit my hand guards really well. And then Hippo Hands reached out to see if I wanted to try out their new backcountry model. So I thought it would be good to kind of compare the two. These are a little bit more expensive than the OBR grip mitts, but I believe Hippo Hands were the first to invent this sort of thing. Here they are, and right off the bat, they definitely have a high quality kind of feel to them. I really like the orange stitching on the inside. It's a nice touch. And they have a kind of a toughened, hardened material around part of the side and the front. And I think that'll definitely hold up a little bit better if you lay the bike down. Unfortunately, these are not gonna quite fit my Highway Dirt Bikes hand guards, and that's kind of the reason I got the OBR ones in the first place, because they're a little bit wider on the ends uh, to fit these better but the majority of handguards out there are gonna have no issue whatsoever. I guess there's only one thing to do and we're gonna need some safety glasses. And there we go, I smoothed down all the edges and it doesn't look perfect, but it didn't look that great before. And you can actually buy new plastic shields for like 20 bucks. But anyways, the Hippo hands should now fit and they're super simple to install. Also, as a note on the inside, you will see this little elastic band. And those are actually only for those real basic hand guards that don't wrap around all the way to the bar end. Uh, I think like some stock KTMs or something come with those. But anyways, go ahead and pull out this little Velcro part. And this actually wraps around the side of the handguard and loops back through itself. And you're gonna want the prickly part to be facing outwards. There we go, it should look something just like that. And then go ahead and throw on the grip. And it attaches to that Velcro. And then the neoprene just stretches around everything and attaches to itself. And that is it. I really like how this neoprene just kind of covers everything and it's gonna really block a lot of the extra airflow. And then you do the exact same thing to the other side. Yep, super easy to install and you can stand up no problem whatsoever and they don't seem to get in the way. I think they look pretty cool. But now all we got left is to go try them out. All right guys, first time trying out the hippo hands. Will I have a warm pair of hands? Oh, sketchy, oh, so sketchy. I don't think it's cold enough for that to be ice, but I have totally slipped on ice like right near that spot one time. You could totally feel the bike just sliding. It's scary. So the weather is definitely starting to improve here in Colorado as we move into springtime and we've been having a few warm days over 70 degrees but we also get snow and cold still and it was actually 70 today as the high but I think it's supposed to get to like mid 30s here at night. And it's always a bit colder as we move into the mountains. I am actually wearing summer gloves. And so far these hippo hands are working pretty well. Oh, that makes such a big difference when you take your hand out and put it back in. It really helps keep the wind off, that's for sure. Ooh, some more wet spots. Literally super sketch. I'm actually interested to see if Rampart Range Road is still snow packed. I have a feeling it is, but I don't know. Yeah, my hands are starting to get a little bit cold, but they're not uncomfortable. I definitely need to install those grip heaters. I keep putting that off because I got I got so much going on. But maybe I'll just wait till next fall. It smells like a winter forest with someone having a wood fire. It smells so good. Let's see. Yeah, standing isn't gonna be an issue with these at all. Yeah, my hands are starting to get a little chilly, but hey, it's not too bad for summer gloves. There's like snow all over the ground.
around. All right, let's see what Rampart Range is like. It's so weird. There's always cars like parked up here. I don't know what they're doing. Oh my goodness, look at that puddle. Oh, don't want to get my feet wet. Oh uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of slushy and well, maybe it's not too bad. Let's go. Let's go on this a little bit. See how bad it gets. Ooh, look at this. It's all gravel. I need to get some waterproof boots. These ones are not waterproof at all. Not even a little bit. Dang, it goes right through this. It's pretty cool. Pretty spiffy. It's like snow mixed with a ton of dirt. It's got a lot of traction though. Oh no, my boot's getting all wet. Oh no, now it's going into my 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 sock i feel it these things are not waterproof even slightly uh, uh, hmm should i continue on or go to the spooky hotel i don't know i'm kind of feeling like spooky hotel so let's go there uh, stupider spooky ghosts I could get air off of that if I had more speed. Feels like the winter lasted far too long. Here we are at the Sprucewood Inn. This place is kind of cool. It's, <laughs> it's a little restaurant and bar. I remember coming here when I was a little kid. My friend and his dad took our dirt bikes up here and we did some riding. It's pretty fun. I, I think that was when I had a YZ85. Good memories, man. I like this little road. It gets like super steep over here. It's kind of like scary in a car. I would not mind living over here. So you're not too far from stuff, but you're far enough away from crazy town, <laughs> but still close enough to like go get the groceries and stuff. Oh, little deer. Oh yeah, this is the steep downhill right here. Like, <laughs> I'm just gaining speed, even though I'm in a low gear. Pop, pop, pop. All right, here we are, South Platte River. So spooky, there's no cars, no people. I can feel it being a little bit more chilly. I think it's because the water is right there to my left. You can't really see it, but you can feel it. All right, we're almost there to Spooky Town. Oh, I forgot how many houses there were around here. Don't mind me, I'm just going down to Spooky Town. And just across the bridge. Oh, there it is. All right guys, so legend has it, is there was this guy who liked this girl and her family owned this hotel and they didn't like the guy very much. And uh, she stopped seeing him and he, I think he went crazy and then like shot up the place and like burned it to the ground. And this is the one they actually rebuilt. So uh, I think there might be less ghosts inside of this one. But anyways guys, I'm gonna swap out one of these uh, hippo hands mitts for one of the OBR units that I brought with me. That way I can compare the two. Right. Let's get out of here. It's kind of spooky. Whee! So yeah, I think it would just be cool to see which hand freezes up first. So I got the same gloves and different mitts and hopefully it'll get cold enough on the way home. So while I'm waiting for my hands to freeze up, I'll talk about the differences between these two mitts. I guess we'll start with the price because that's pretty important and the OBR mitts are definitely quite a bit cheaper than the hippo hands, but I would say the hippo hands definitely are a lot higher quality. They're a lot thicker and they hold their shape. A lot better whereas the OBR mitts they're kind of they're a little bit floppy obviously that orange stitching looks so cool I definitely think the hippo hands will work out a little bit better off-road long term because they got this like hard stuff on the outside whereas the OBRs are kind of just the same all around another cool thing about the hippo hands is they have the neoprene part that go around the handlebars the OBR ones are quite a bit more open between the handlebar and the handguard um, so they might some more air through there. The cool thing about the OBR mitts 
and the reason I bought them in the first place is obviously they fit the highway dirt bikes handguards um, without having to modify the plastic. But I feel like a lot of people don't have highway dirt bikes handguards and those are probably like the only ones that are gonna have that issue because those handguards are a lot smaller. Either one, obviously I can't use my fold out mirror. That's why I have my stock mirror on there. It seems like the OBR mitts pack down a little bit easier um, than the hippo hands because the uh, hippo hands are a lot, you know, firmer and thicker and they hold their shape better. But I mean, if you wanted to take them off and like put them in a backpack, um, the OBRs would probably work a little bit better for that. All right, up the hill we go. Both of them have a reflective material that wraps all the way around and I think both of them will do the job pretty well. I think the hippo hands can be installed and removed a little bit faster, especially because you can leave that velcro part on there and just, I mean it's like a couple seconds and you have that thing on. If I were to guess, I would think the hippo hands would probably do a little bit better in the rain um, just because of the neoprene part that seals it up a little bit better on the inside. Also, I think the hippo hands definitely look a lot cooler, a lot more stylish than the OBR mitts, but it's kind of personal preference kind of thing. So far, both my hands are getting a little cold. It's still comfortable, but we're getting there. All right, guys, so, you know, my hands got a little chilly, but they're not frozen up yet. They're still somewhat comfortable. And I'll be honest, the hippo hand felt a little bit colder than this one, but I don't think it was a fair test because this is your throttle hand. I was using my throttle a lot more, keeping my hand warmer, moving it around. And also I was taking this hand out a little bit more to change my music and push my camera buttons. And another thing, I don't think I cut the handguard shields down quite enough for the hippo hands to get that perfect fit because it's kind of still pushing up right there and as you can tell that's causing more of a gap on the top and bottom compared to the this one I mean you're not gonna have that problem with like regular hand guards um, it'll probably look more like this one I would think and I really think that neoprene would help but maybe I'll uh, cut those down and then like retest it in another video but honestly it was pretty close it wasn't really that much of a difference yeah they definitely both work so anyways guys uh, that's going to be about it for this video. The next video, I will be showing how I pack up my bike for moto camping. And also, I got some new gear from Moto Camp Nerd. And I can't wait to show you guys that one. But that video will be out at the end of the month. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And I will see you guys later. Stay spooky. Peace out.